डॉक्टर पंकज अलावत पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट रेजिडेंट इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस एट एम एम आई एम एस आर हॉस्पिटल मौलाना अम्बाला हरियाणा आई बी प्रेजेंटिंग माई पेपर ऑन रोल ऑफ मल्टी डिटेक्टर कॉम्प्यूटर टोमोग्राफी इन इवेल्युएशन ऑफ पेनक्रिएटिक नियोप्लाजम एम डी सी टी इज डाउटेड एज द मेन वर्क हाउस फॉर द इवेल्युएशन ऑफ पेनक्रिएटिक ट्यूमर्स बींग क्विक एंड कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव इट अलाउस फॉर मल्टीफेजिक इमेजिंग एनेबलिंग एक्सलेंट एंड characterization of mass lesions it provides information about the extent vascular infiltration and sites of metastases all of which are crucial determinants for resectability in this review we discuss the imaging findings of cystic as well as solid pancreatic tumors using mdct the aim of this study is uh, to characterize the pancreatic neoplasms using mdct The study was a cross-sectional study conducted at MMIMSR Mulana, Ambala, Haryana, from 1st of March to 31st of August 2024. Scans were performed on semen somatum definition flash 128 slice scanner in the Department of Radio Diagnosis. Phases used were non-contrast early arterial pancreatic and delayed portal venous using rapid contrast agent. administered at 3 to 5 ml per second oral administration of 500 to 700 ml water approximately before 30 minutes imaging time was also done a total of 40 patients were included in this study out of which 22 patients demonstrated solid neoplastic pancreatic lesions and 18 patients had cystic pancreatic neoplasms of the 22 cases of solid neoplasms 77% were pancreatic adenocarcinomas 9% were metastatic deposits and 9% were neuroendocrine tumors and 4% were pancreatic lymphoma in the remaining cystic group of lesions eight cases that is 44% comprised of ipmns intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasms and 27% were of mucinous cystic adenoma and 27% were of serous cystic adenoma Now coming to the individual cases this was a case of pancreatic adenocarcinoma here we can see a heterogeneous hypodense mass in pancreatic head with atrophy of pancreatic tail dilated mpd and ihbr dilatation in insert one we can see obliteration of spleno portal confluence and in insert two we can see the infiltration into the d2 segment of duodenum Now this was a case of pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor. Here we can see hypervascular enhancing mass in arterial phase in the neck of pancreas. In the insert one, we can see hypervascular enhancing liver metastatic deposits in arterial phase, and in insert two, we can see hypervascular arterial phase enhancing paracaval lymph nodes. So this was a case of pancreatic metastasis from a lung primary source. Here we can see heterogeneously enhancing irregular mass lesion in the right lung on the right picture and on the left picture we can see hypovascular rounded metastatic deposits in the pancreatic body. This was a case of pancreatic lymphoma where we can see multiple hyperattenuating masses seen in the pancreatic body and tail on the left picture and on the right picture we can see multiple hypoenhancing masses in bilateral kidneys with enlarged aortocaval and paraaortic lymph nodes this was a case of pancreatic ipmn here we can see a cystic attenuation lesion in pancreatic uncinate process which is seen to communicate with mpd these findings are suggestive of a side branch ipmn so this was a case of pancreatic mucinous cystic adenoma here we can see a unilocular cystic lesion in pancreatic uncinate process which is not communicating with the mpd so this was a case of pancreatic serous cystic adenoma here we can see multilobulated microcystic lesion in pancreatic head with no obvious communication to the main pancreatic duct 
So the age group mostly affected by pancreatic mass lesions in this study was 50 to 75 years. This is in accordance with the finding of Jamaat et al. who reported that pancreatic neoplasms were uncommon below the age of 40 years. Pancreatic neoplastic lesions were more common in male 65% than in females. Out of the solid pancreatic neoplasms, the most common entity was pancreatic adenocarcinomas, comprising 77% of solid neoplasms. Out of the cystic pancreatic neoplasms, the most common entity was IPMN, comprising of 44% of the cystic neoplasms. Now coming to the MDCD imaging findings of different pancreatic neoplasms. So the pancreatic adenocarcinoma represents poorly marginated hypoenhancing mass mostly in the head and uncinate process and it shows double duct sign signs of vascular encasement and spread to adjacent organs the pancreatic NED is uh, hypervascular homogeneous if small and heterogeneous and cystic if large it displaces rather than invades vessel and the pancreatic lymphoma is hypoenhancing homogeneous tumors, peripancreatic lymph nodal enlargement in cases then rather than invading vessels and pancreatic metastasis. It is common from renal cell carcinoma, melanoma, lung and breast and, variab and it shows variable appearances depends on the primary source. Now the pancreatic IPMN shows cystic lesions communicating with main pancreatic duct mostly in pancreatic head and it may be multifocal. The pancreatic mission is cystic neoplasms is a macro cystic with thick wall, peripheral mural calcification and it shows no communication with main pancreatic duct. It is mostly in pancreatic body and tail and the pancreatic serous cystic neoplasm. It is micro cystic lobulated not communicating with MBD and sometimes it shows central scar with calcifications. So MDCD plays a central role in differential diagnosis of pancreatic neoplasms. It can characterize lesions as solid or cystic and determine the extent of vascularity. Further it can determine the extent of lesion and demonstrate sites of metastasis and vascular involvements. So this imaging modality enables radiologists to play a pivotal role in deciding the lines of management and determining patient's prognosis. And now these are my references. Thank you so much.